Welcome. In front of me is uh, Lenovo Idea Bad Slim 5, and in this video, I will show you how to get cursor or mouse pointer back on your laptop screen in case your touchpad stopped working. So, if you don't have an external mouse either, then press Windows button once, press Tab and using right arrow key, navigate to settings, select and uh, uh, press enter to confirm, then press tab one more time, then use down arrow key to navigate to Bluetooth and devices, press enter, press tab a couple more times until you have devices selected, then use down arrow key to, uh, to navigate to touchpad, press enter, and then press spacebar to switch the toggle to the right. And then check if your touchpad started working. Now, if this didn't happen, then press Alt F4 to close this window, and then use Windows key and search for device manager. Press enter to open it, then press tab one once. Use down arrow key to navigate to human interface device devices. Use right arrow key to expand this list and search for HID compliant touchpad. Scroll down to it using down arrow key, press enter to confirm, then press tab several times until you have the general option highlighted. Press right arrow key to go to driver and press tab three times. Press enter, left arrow key and enter again to confirm and then let's enable device by pressing enter one more time and then check if your touchpad started working. But if it didn't, in such case, Press tab one more time, press enter and enter again. And after that, press Alt F4 to close this window and then press Alt F4 one more time. Use down arrow key once to select restart option. Press enter and wait until your device restarts. And after that, your touchpad should start working. And now, check if your touchpad started working. But if this didn't happen, then log in. Let's log in to, to the, our device once again. And now, uh, in case you didn't see any touchpad settings in settings menu, and you didn't find the HID compliant touchpad on the list, that means that you're lacking some drivers. And what you have to do is press Windows once, press Tab, use the right arrow key, to navigate to settings, press enter to open and press tab once. Let's use the down arrow key to navigate to Windows Update, press enter once and press tab two times and press enter to check for updates and see if you have any updates uh, to download and install. And if you do, then take your time and install them. Then if you don't find a, a if it doesn't help, uh, you can also go press tab a couple more times. Uh, then once when you uh, when you have this option, advanced options selected, press enter. Then press tab a couple more times until you have uh, optional updates selected and press enter. Press uh, space bar once. And now let's press tab once spacebar excuse me then down arrow key spacebar and then press tab and press enter to download and install uh, optional updates and once they are installed you may need to restart your pc let's restart it 
press tab until you have the restart now option selected then press enter and wait until your device is restarted and once you're, uh, you've downloaded all the updates and restarted your PC uh, your touchpad should start working normally but if this, this didn't happen by now that probably means that you have a hardware problem and at this point I, uh, I recommend you to contact either Lenovo customer support service or reach out to the nearest repair center to let them take care of your device. I hope that this video helped you and if it did consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like and a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.